look to your covenant, O Lord, and forget not the life of your poor ones forever. Arise, O God, and defend your cause, and forget not the cries of those who seek you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be always with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to worthily celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to the Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the blessed Mary of her virtue, all the angels of the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, may he forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father. Bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts, the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, he lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord was addressed to me as follows. Son of man, you are living with that set of rebels who have eyes and never see, ears and never hear, for they are a set of rebels. You, son of man, Pack an exile's bundle and emigrate by daylight, when they can see you. Emigrate from where you are to somewhere else while they watch. Perhaps they will admit then that they are a set of rebels. You will pack your baggage like an exile's bundle by daylight for them to see, and lead like an exile in the evening, making sure they are looking. As they watch, make a hole in the wall and go out through it. As they watch, you will show your pack and go out into the dark. You will cover your face so that you cannot see the country, since I have made you a symbol for the house of Israel. I did as I had been told. I packed my baggage like an exile's bundle by daylight, and in the evening I made a hole through the wall with my hand. I went out into the dark and showed my pack as they watch. The next morning the word of the Lord was addressed to me as follows. Son of man, do not, did not the house of Israel, did not that set of rebels ask you what you were doing? Say, the Lord says this, this oracle is directed against Jerusalem and the whole house of Israel, wherever they are living. Say, I am a symbol of you. The thing I have done will be done to them. They will go into exile, into banishment. Their ruler will shoulder his pack in the dark 
and go out through a wall, a hole will be made to let him out. He will cover his face rather than see the country. This is the word of the Lord. A response to the psalm, never forget the deeds of the Lord. They put God to the proof and defied him. They refused to obey the most high. They strayed as faithless as their fathers, like a foe on which the archer cannot count. Never forget the tears of God. With their mountain shrines, they angered him, made him jealous with the idols they served. God saw and was filled with fury. He utterly rejected Israel. Never forget the deeds of the Lord. He gave his ark into captivity, his glorious ark into the hand of the foe. He gave up his people to the sword. In his anger, against his chosen ones. Never forget to be Please come to the cross. Alleluia, alleluia. Let your face shine on your servant and teach me your decrees. Alleluia. Reading the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Peter went up to Jesus and said, Lord, how often must I forget my brother if he wrongs me? As often as seven times. Jesus, Jesus answered, Not seven, I tell you, but seventy seven times. And so the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who decided to settle his accounts with his servants. When the reckoning began, they, they brought him a man who owed 10,000 pounds. But he had no means of paying, so his master gave orders that he should be sold together with his wife and children and all his possessions to meet the debt. At this, the servant threw himself down at his master's feet. Give me time, he said, and I will pay the whole sum. And the servant's master fell, felt so sorry for him that he let him go and then cancelled the debt. Now as this servant went out, he happened to meet a fellow servant who owed him one hundred denarii, and he seized him by the throat and began to throttle him. Pay what you owe me, he said. The servant fell at his feet and implored him, saying, Give me time and I will pay you. But the other would not agree. On the contrary, he had him thrown into prison till he should pay the debt. His fellow servants were deeply distressed and they saw what had happened. And they went to their master and reported the whole affair. Then the master sent for him. You wicked servant, he said, I cancelled all that debt of yours when you appeared to me. Were you not vowed then to have pity on your fellow servant, just as I have pity on you? And in his anger, the master handed him over to the torturers, till he should pay all his debt. And that is how my heavenly Father will deal with you unless you forgive your brother from your heart. Jesus and I finished what he wanted to say, and he left Galilee and came into the part of Judea, which is on the far side of the Jordan. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ.
as to the happy report of the soul of Rosemary Ward, whose anniversary occurs at this time. May her soul and the souls of all the faithful depart to the mercy of God. Blessed be you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands that will become our spiritual fruit. By the mystery of this water and wine, we become the share in the divinity of Christ, we call himself the share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, 
give you thanks and give the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favour on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that is the all of us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son and whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew your church by the light of the gospel, strengthen the bond of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people. Together with Francis, our Pope, Noel, our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops, that in a world torn by strife, your people may shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your grace, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Apostles and Martyrs, and with all the saints we shall praise and exalt you for Jesus Christ, your Son. <coughs> Free him and with him and in him. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command of power by the divine teaching, we guard the way. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. The God in our sins, who have faith in your church, and graciously grant for peace and unity in accordance with your will, we live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit.
accents. I remember being able to keep me always faithful to your commandments. I'm never happy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ, keep me seated for you.
May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed seal us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. Holy Michael, God, the defend us in the hour of God. Be the Lord, see the Lord against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May the Lord God's strength be upon the bread, and to the Lord Prince of Heaven and the Lord. By the power of God, for us and the help saith, and with them all the evil spirits, and one who wanted to bring the word, seek it to the room of souls. Lord, we love thee. Your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We'll pour our masses into it. Thanks be to God.